So go on YouTube, it's upside DIY. I already sealed pretty much three layers. First I sealed this, uh, this bottom or this other side. Then I had to cover this floor, try to make it as leveled. I had to avoid this bubble in the wood floor. Um, I already kind of tried to patch it up. It's doing good, but it used to raise up pretty tall. Pretty much like a foot or two. I had to cut out a row, but right now I am actually scraping the seal while it's in a safe position. I'm doing this first to just get out, to clean some of the area, you know, keep things, um, you know, pretty much in one area, the stuff that I want to remove. But just by doing it this way, and then I'm turning the razor blade on both sides of the crack, perhaps scraping off things, uh, and just really trying to remove possible old silicone and, and stuff, in making a nice decent gap, and then I'm doing it pretty much on the side where it's actually touching the other piece of glass in the corner is pretty much going up going up um, pretty much and then what I'm going to do is turn this aquarium over to its to this side and then glue it just because uh, first I'm going to remove um, pretty much the under the silicone underneath this top trim it shouldn't really take that long I have another blade that I use it's, it's actually like a fruit carving knife that seems to work really good but being in this position right here, I can't really get underneath. And plus when I glue the, the panel or just glue the seam, it's, uh, it's going to be turned so that gravity does quite a bit. And there's other tips that I want to show in this video, like getting out the air bubbles, using the razor blade to get out the air bubbles of the uh, glue. Show you guys the glue that I'm using. But just, just scraping out as much as I can. I did this for most of the aquarium already. And then um, trying to pretty much get this out of the way. It's good. It takes around 30 minutes to, to uh, complete all the things. It's a lot faster. But I'm going to just try to record just what I... You know, just little parts, and then before I glue it, I spray it with pretty much water in that water bottle, and then just get off any small dust particles. But with this right here already removed, um, I could actually use a damp cloth and finish up cleaning, and then turn it to one side. So right here I have the water spray bottle, and I can just spray a little bit, and then wipe off what I can, and that's just water, because uh. Trying to keep this as clean as possible. Sometimes you can use rubbing alcohol on this, but I think the rubbing alcohol layer type situation actually makes bonds not that good. So just using water, I think, um, and I can actually wipe down whatever I can. And then now I'm going to turn it to one side. And then um, I could actually keep trying to scrape off as much as I can and then turn it to one side. Scrape off again and then repeat the process with the spray bottle and then turn it to one side. Okay, so I just cleaned it the second time. There was some left or some stuff that I missed within the cracks, touched up, whatever, uh, you know, ran off from the other sides when I was. So now hopefully I can turn this right side up, or the other side. So I turned it long ways, and then I'm going 
going to actually scrape this top trim first and get that out of the way. And then the last part with this knife, it's pretty easy to scrape this. It takes a little bit of while, but I've practiced it. You just basically scrape sorry, certain areas off. And then you actually run. So I'm gonna show a little bit of this, maybe five minutes of scraping. And then I'm gonna do five. So I, you know, while I was cleaning it when it was up right side up, I did scrape as uh, a little bit, uh, just to make a cut inside the silicone. And then another good tip by moving this is trying to find the right knife position to at least do some of it. This ash having this knife is pretty strong. You know, it, it gets it gets us experimental for the first time. But after and then turn the knife around to the other side and pretty much do the same thing for whatever's still stuck on there. You might so I'm gonna just try to scrape the rest of this off um, and then come back when it's done. But finishing it off with holding the knife towards the glue side it really helps out. And also while doing this you you might as well just enjoy having good lighting. So I have this nice spotlight. I could turn on the room light to get more, you know, more of a re I don't really need the room light. So I'm gonna just finish this off with the light on. And also with the uh, aquarium in this position, it's also good to wear a safety helmet just because just in case if something does happen uh, and the, the thing falls on you it, it won't really hurt you too bad okay so I'm back uh, to always just one little piece in the corner or something I had to really um, concentrate on this area there's quite a few things notice how I'm holding the blade maybe at a sharper angle but just just don't add too much pressure and um, you should be okay this and even getting into the crack some will actually help the, the glue stick a little bit more smoothing out the trim and just getting off the rest of the glue and then I'm going to clean this up and then start gluing so while I'm cleaning this I got a dustpan and a wastebasket near and a broom. Then even a towel that I can shake off at the end is going to pretty much finish up some of the cleaning parts of the cleaning of this really rubber silicone stuff that I'm scraping off but it's really going to just finish up a lot of the stuff the broom missed and then I'm going to use wa water shake this off and then I'll wipe down stuff and like the other part I'm gonna actually clean it off with a razor blade a little bit a razor blade and water and then wipe it down and then I'm gonna start gluing so there's pretty much most of the rest of it so I could try to dump that wipe that off and stuff um, after I finish so right now then I'm gonna just spray a little bit of water around the edges then I'm gonna wipe it down or clean it one more time and then I'm gonna start gluing it so cleaning it with the razor blade and the fruit knife is pretty much all you need to get the seal off uh, there's all that I also have to use this razor blade to get the air bubbles out when I glue it so I'm gonna just wipe all this down wipe this off and maybe wipe off the dustpan. So to glue this, so I just finished wiping off whatever I could. I d even wiped off the dustpan, shaked off the towel. Uh, I could go over little small areas, fill out, and peel off any 
there is a little bit but you know from where I started from to where I am it, it's really not really that important but what you want is like a popsicle stick and a razor blade on the side just having the tools next to you um, the popsicle stick is actually going to be finishing it off making the straight line and things while the razor blade is going to get the air bubbles and what you need is the glue and what you want to do is start off maybe a quarter inch away from the corner and then you could and I can um, just you know push the glue into the corner so this has a really narrow type of nozzle tip uh, there's a small hole so I just start squeezing out the glue and you know making sure it's not excess too much excess that goes into the corner and then I could just touch it up in the corner and then all I do is just go all the way around for each side um, you know and squeeze off a, a drop or two and just run it around the um, or into this corner where it's going to drop into the crack and when I get to the other side of the corner I'm going to just turn the bottle around drop off pretty much a quarter inch start off the rest of the seal and then just touch up into the corner and just try to you know make an even bead don't be nervous if there's a lot because you're going to use a popsicle stick uh, for any leftovers and smoothing it out and things so let's and even with my aquarium like right here there's I see something so I really don't know if that's just the glue an air bubble but this side really had uh, you know a lot of old silicone and things so I don't know um, so just even it out before you kind of get to the corner and just press it into the corner that's good enough um, and then finish up the other seam the line this only takes around five to ten minutes tops <clears throat> touch it up into the corner and then you basically go around the whole area the best part is pretty much getting to this top trim because you know it needs glue on it and you know once you get it glued it's going to start drying and then you're going to be finished doing what you ha had planned on doing for today but there's a lot of other stuff with the pond with the pr fruits and propagating but just getting stuff out of the way just to see how it works it's just pretty much a deal how this kind of goes and with the razor blade it's pretty much the same thing trying to look for air bubbles and then just running it on the seam so I'm going to show you guys and girls that next and then the last part is actually using the popsicle stick on pretty much the and it could be a little bit of drops when you remove the tube so my time is running out but there's not that many air bubbles but what I could do is pretty much run the blade start off one end and just run it through it creates a small uh, way for the air bubbles to escape and let me finish that always look at the end result and things it's not that many serious air bubbles but there's still you know stuff with the glue this luckily this glue doesn't dry too fast and um, I'm gonna use the popsicle stick last and not a lot of 
material is wasted on the razor blade and that's pretty much all that I needed to use it for but I could reuse some of the material and put it on the trim so now I'm going to just use this popsicle stick and what I do is just place it towards the corner lean it against the glass and just kind of slowly scrape it towards where I want gravity to use actually it's good to have it flat straight on the glass and, and, and scrape it so I'm going to start all over have it flat and it's going to keep everything pretty much clean so thanks for watching see you next time have a good day bye